What's up guys and welcome back to another week of The Split with Legit. This week was a little better than last because the Canes pulled off a win. It wasn't the prettiest, but they still got that dub. So first up on today's episode is Canes football. The Miami Hurricanes' biggest weakness defensively in their first four games of the season had been containing their opponent's running game, but against the Pittsburgh Panthers, they dominated their rushing attack, winning the game 31-19. Defensive end Quincy Roche was named ACC Player of the Week thanks to his best performance as a Kane, with 7 tackles, 4.5 tackles for losses, 0.5 sack, and the team's only fumble recovery of the game. QB Derek King had 222 passing yards. Although he did throw two interceptions, he had four touchdowns, making it the most he's thrown since he started at the U. Now, many fans weren't happy with the offense's performance as a whole, but come on, let's keep it real. In the last two games for Miami, they played against the best team in the country in Clemson, and then last week played Pitt, a team who entered that game leading the country in sacks and ranked number two in rush defense. So we were bound to see a drop off in points and total offense. What fans need to keep in mind is this. Miami is rebuilding their offense with a new offensive coordinator and line coach. So we must expect to see more and more improvements each week, especially since what we're already seeing is a step in the right direction and bringing back the U. The newly ranked number 11 Miami Hurricanes will play at Hard Rock again this Saturday against a 1-2 Virginia Cavaliers team at 8 p.m. on ACC Network. The Canes will be wearing their orange jerseys with a splash of pink for their breast cancer awareness game. Now, let's talk some FIU football. What a week for the FIU Panthers. Remember how I mentioned last week that after their homecoming game loss, head coach Butch Davis mentioned the team had several false positive COVID cases, which affected which players could show up to practice? Well, those numbers clearly affected the team again, which caused a postponement of their scheduled game last week to the Charlotte 49ers. FIU is currently the only winless team in Conference USA, and quite frankly, they're just trying to find their groove. The Panthers are hoping to gain their first win of the season against the Jacksonville State Gamecocks, while the Gamecocks are looking to gain their first win against an FBS opponent since 2013. The game will take place tonight at FIU at 7 p.m. on ESPN3, so let's just hope all this rain that's been going on in South Florida will hold up for this game to play. Alrighty guys, that's all I have for you this week. As always, feel free to leave your predictions for each game in the comments below. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you guys next week.